All right, here is the Brazilian Rainbow Boa Vivarium. <clears throat> it's a 90 gallon tall, and it has, there's a, if you can see it, there's a waterfall. Uh, 50, I believe it's a 50 watt uh, power compact, spotlight for heat. There's some cork bark for, for a hide. Pothos, and I think it's, I don't know, something I got from Ronas. Anyway, it grows really well. You have uh, a layer of soil, and then on the bottom is a layer of uh, <coughs> uh, uh, pea gravel, or you could probably use, uh, it's called GA, they use it for landscaping. So, I don't know, I should have cleaned that a bit. Anyway, we'll go in the tank and see. So, you have, it's a drilled tank. There are two holes, one in the right, one in the left. Each one um, has a bulkhead on it to attach the pipes. Then, see, I just said you piece of plywood. The hinge, the lock. So, what happens is water. Uh, so there's a layer, there's a one inch layer of water at the bottom and it spills down into a pipe here. Goes down into there. That pipe travels here goes into a sump, which is really just a rubber made. There is your power head. Water gets pumped back up. Can't see it, we can't get under there. So it gets pumped up here into, into a little reservoir, like a little homemade pond made out of styrofoam. Pinset mortar and a little bit of uh, uh, concrete uh, concrete paint. So it's a continual cycle of water. Soil is always moist. Uh, you have this big bush here. Here's your lamp and under snake is going to wait. It's kind of nasty. Let's see if we can want to see where our head is. Oh. oh, there she is. Now the snake uh, will travel in between living underneath this nest of vegetation. It has its hide here and a spotlight for, for optional heat. And when it feels like basking, it'll just just give itself a good bath in that uh, a nice flowing tub of water for a few days. So that's it in a nutshell. I'll try to I'll answer any questions. Just uh, just ask, and I'll try to get into some more details. I'll link to. Uh, Reptiles Canada has got some instructions on how to drill out a tank. Thanks.